everyone, hope you're all well. Um, this video is us going from Nozal through to the top of the Turley Locks, um, still on the Shropshire Union. Uh, we go through some absolutely stunning scenery. I've tried to include as much as I could without, hopefully without boring you too much. Um, if you like the video, please give us a like, subscribe, it's free, um, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, enjoy the video. So we've been in Norbury now for two days. Just managed to do some washing. Um, and tried to rest my ribs, seeing as I've obviously done myself an injury. But it's only a two day mooring, so we're having to leave now. And uh, we're hopefully just gonna pop along to Norbury. Just an hour, just an hour's journey, hopefully. And uh, stay there for a couple of days. Hopefully that should be long enough. A pretty garden. navigation in sitting proudly above the canal it's very dark and dismal at the moment although the camera seems to just brighten it up <laughs> but trust me it is really dim and misty and we're expecting rain and wind by lunchtime so hopefully we'll get moored up by about 11. you can That's see good. just how dark it is inside the boat i've just come in to make martin a cup of coffee it's like evening time yeah it's not a very nice day today i can hear the kingfisher about somewhere but it's one of them where once you've done your two days come what may whatever the weather brings it's uh, you move on simple as that they're the rules so that's what we're doing and just a short up today into norbury hopefully we can get more than we'll stay there a couple of days and then we'll be working our way up to um, get market rate right, and I think. Yeah, I can't believe the tree falls on me. Well, he's certainly going for it. But no, we've got a boat in front of us, so Martin doesn't need me as a lookout at the front. So it means I can spend my time with you, doesn't it, Dan? Don't do that. I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's only a matter of time before the heavens open. It's just coming off the trees at the moment, so... Yeah. So what we have here, it looks like an old lock gate. I'll have to have a look on the map and see what that is. It's all chained up. It's certainly a gate of some sort. And it narrows down. Oop. It goes through the trees. So yeah, I'll have to find out what that was. seems to have held off so I'm hoping we can get all moored up and toast you warm before the rain turns up I'm gonna sign off and help with the boat this is Norbury Wharf in the driving rain <laughs> it's not always sunshine is it <laughs> what a beautiful place well, it's no use you hiding under there, mate. It's in for the day. Is it? Yeah. We've had a lovely, lovely breakfast here at the uh, Norbury Wolf Cafe. Very nice. Obviously, we sat inside. Oh, the 
weather we're having. Slippy here, isn't it? This is the wharf from the other side. It's a beautiful place. Absolutely lovely. I bet it's really nice in the sun. But yeah, much better on a sunny day. Right, let's get back to the boat and get warm and dry. days um, we've been moored up on the five-day mooring and we're just about to leave Love Norbury. We're definitely, definitely coming back to here. Nice tea rooms, chandlery, maybe even got a few odds and sods, sort of milk and butter and bits like that. So just lovely. bridges down here and this is one of them. Look at this, it's a double bridge. Have a look on the history of this. Look how stunning is that? We even got the telegraph pole in the middle. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Stunning bridge.
That is a field. <laughs> That's a duck. This is a tiller. And you're a... Twat, apparently. <laughs> of uh, bridges in succession here or well, three actually there's the first one is a walkway then there's an old stone bridge okay. and then there's sort of a tunnel of trees hold up and there's another stop gate there we're just going past Beautiful tunnel of trees here. Going to the next bridge. It's very scenic along here. I must admit, the Shropshire Union is very, very pretty. Some of those trees look like they're about to fall in, don't they? They're just holding onto the bank. Oh, look at that. It's like something out of a fairy tale. There's another bridge further up. I don't know if you can see. It looks like we may be meeting another boat coming the other way as well. a lot of the bridges on the canals you often see these sort of little brick built sheds um, and inside you've got stop planks so if there was ever a problem with a section of the canal the planks are taken out of there and put into grooves usually near a bridge where it's narrow and the planks are stacked down into the grooves to stop the water so they can deal with whatever problem they have between the bridges. And I'm just going to see if I can see the groove. There it is there. The 
groove that side and there's a matching one the other side. Sleeping ducks lie, is it? <laughs> See for miles and miles. I'm intrigued to know what that is over there. spoken to somebody and asked them what that big mound is over there and apparently it's called the Rickin and it's the remains of an old volcano so who would have known It's a little place, isn't it? It's a little narrow through here. Well, I've ended up back at the front of the boat again just to sort of keep a lookout. It looks like here there's been some sort of a landslide. You can see where it's all been shored up at the bottom. So yeah, it does look rather ominous, doesn't it?
I don't know why I'm whistling, uh, whispering. I think it's because I'm sort of breathing in. a bridge and then we're hoping to see some more otherwise we're going to be committed to do the Turley Locks. Hey ho, let's see what uh, see what happens, shall we? Okay, so here's the bridge. I can see the locks. The first lock through the bridge. It's called Stargirl. How sad is 